Hi, I'm Anna Milan from the Community Services Department. Today we're discussing Chatham's North Beach and North Beach Island with the Director of Natural Resources, Greg Berman. Chatham's North Beach is a current formation of the Barrier Beach that has protected Chatham Harbor and the mainland from the open ocean for many years. Over the years, weather events and erosion have created many changes in the area. The current North Beach is attached to Nosset Beach to the north and is accessible by oversand vehicles or by boat. To the south of North Beach is North Beach Island. It is flanked by the North and South Inlets and is accessible only by boat. These two areas are part of the Cape Cod National Seashore and are extremely fragile and dynamic natural areas. They are a valuable resource to the boating public, property owners, and wildlife. In addition to providing storm protection to Chatham, they are also very popular recreation areas. Chatham's North Beach and North Beach Island are protected by federal, state, and town regulations. Oversight of these areas is provided by the town of Chatham. Hi Greg, welcome, how are you? Good, how are you yourself? I'm pretty good. How's the Department of Natural Resources treating you? Good, good, <laughs> we're certainly in full swing this summer. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's been saying it's the busiest summer uh, that they've experienced. How is it feeling for you? Well, this is my first summer here working at Chatham. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's my... definitely the busiest one I've seen. <laughs> all my staff have definitely said that, you know, this is exceptional, the number of people yeah. and uh, people coming to enjoy Chatham. Yeah, absolutely. As we approach Labor Day, I'm, I'm interested to see how those numbers compare to years past because this is the busiest weekend that we have for sure. Yeah, it should be interesting. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to talking with you kind of as we prepare for this uh, holiday weekend. Uh, I, I really like to prioritize keeping the beaches you know, clean and, and safe and protected, and, and I'd like to instill that with the community, so I'm looking forward to asking you some questions. Um, why is it so important for beachgoers to respect the natural beach environments, especially when there are, are high traffic weekends? Sure, so, I mean, the, the beach environment is, you know, one of the reasons why many people come to Chatham. Mm -hmm. It's why we live and love to experience the beaches of Chatham. Yeah. So, the beaches, you know, look fairly robust, and they are in many ways, but they can be vulnerable. So the beach vegetation, like the beach grass, actually holds the island somewhat in place. Okay. Uh, when we compromise that, that's when erosion starts happening a lot more frequently. I think everybody who lives or visits Chatham realizes that erosion uh, <laughs> sediment movement is an issue along here. Yeah. Um, and really just even a few footsteps in the same area can kill the roots for beach grass. Mm -hmm. And when you multiply that by hundreds of people, it can really cause a substantial impact and make our barrier beaches much less of a barrier when storms hit. For sure, and when we're talking about barrier beaches, that's North Beach Island, correct? Yep, North Beach Island, that's a, a barrier island, mm -hmm. and then North Beach, uh, further to the north, is also <laughs> a, a barrier beach, it's yeah. not connected. Exactly. So what measures are being taken to, you know, manage any sort of impact that people are having on, on these islands or, you know, our coastline in general? Sure. So, I mean, we, we certainly do have regulations in place. I mean, up at North Beach, there's a lot of things that are restricted with use of ORVs, trying to keep, you know, people and vehicles away from nesting uh, birds and from the beach grass and other vegetation that helps prefer, preserve the environment. We have the same regulations down in North Beach Island. Mm -hmm. We just don't have the ORVs. We don't have as many rangers out there. Yeah. But, you know, this is really everybody's role is to try to preserve these islands. If you're enjoying your time out there, I mean, try to preserve it for the next group coming out. Absolutely. So when thinking about large gatherings on, on North Beach specifically, um, why can that be so detrimental? Like you said, t walking on the grass and, and you know thousands of footsteps can affect it, but if we do lose that barrier beach, what could the detrimental impacts be? Sure. So, I mean, ho hopefully we're not going to lose the beach entirely. <laughs> yeah, this no. would be more of a, you know, short-term impacts. But if that beach weren't there, we would have much higher wave energy. It'd be much harder for our commercial and recreational boaters to get around. Mm -hmm. Those overwash fans that kind of go up and over and are slowed down a bit by the vegetation are going to fill a lot of our navigation channels. So oh, we don't want that. Definitely. What are some of the specific regulations or policies that are in place um, to address other impacts that could negative or, or other factors that could negatively impact to the beaches, such as, you know, littering or things like that? 
Sure. So, I mean, uh, again, similar with littering, I mean, e even one candy bar wrapper is too much. Mm -hmm. But when you start multiplying that by hundreds of people, um, it, it gets substantial. So e even a few pieces of litter can have a negative impact on the wildlife that lives there. You can think of, you know, the, the classic unfortunate examples of, you know, uh, plastic getting into marine uh, animals such mm -hmm. as turtles or uh, other creatures out there. But uh, additionally, you know, this uh, has worked its way into various nests mm. and can cause impact to threatened and endangered species. And really, when we're talking about this volume of trash, it can actually, you know, affect the vegetation. It can smother it in places. It's oh, so okay. Thick. That's interesting. I always, every time I go out there, I'm shocked when I see the paw prints that are around the, the island, which, you know, makes me believe that there are coyotes out there. Would you say that, that those are from coyotes or do you think dogs? Well, it's probably a combination, okay. but there, there's definitely dogs out there as well. Yeah, <laughs> but the I, you know, I, you don't think about the uh, an island having such like vast flora and fauna, so it's important to I feel like keep that in mind, especially when we're out there using the space. Yeah, and I mean another point about the dogs, I mean, it, it, it's hard to control coyotes. We have a program in place to try to you know reduce their impacts on nesting birds, mm -hmm. but even dogs that aren't going to attack nesting birds can scare them. And if they get scared, they might abandon the nest. That doesn't mean they just, you know, go away for the season. They're going to try to nest somewhere else. Okay. So a lot of times this would extend the period where we have restrictions on the beach. You might not be able to access a certain area. Okay. So if the birds are able to, you know, nest, hatch and fledge relatively quickly, we can open up the beach more quickly. But if dogs or other wildlife tends to scare them away, it can extend that season where it's um, a little bit more restriction on people out there. For sure. So how can individuals make a positive impact if they are in a large gathering or if they're just, you know, enjoying a beach environment? What are, what are ways or things that people should keep in mind? Sure. So, I mean, the, the classic example of, you know, leave only footprints. I'm a believer in that, but mm -hmm. please also be careful where you step. <laughs> please don't walk on uh, uh, vegetation out there. It will cause an impact to the beach. Mm -hmm. And really, you know, enjoy yourself, but just have an awareness of how that's actually going to impact the natural resources mm -hmm. because they do protect us. Sure. Thank you. So just to recap, what are three things that you would want every communi community member to keep in mind when they're accessing our shoreline or our other natural resources? Sure, just be aware that it's a, a shared environment, not just with you and other people, but you and the wildlife that lives out there. Mm -hmm. um, try not to walk on vegetation, try not to leave trash behind, mm -hmm. and overall just be a, a good steward of our, our you know, precious natural resources out Amazing. there. If someone has a concern or question or want to uh, identify something that they see uh, out there on the North Island Beach or North Beach Island, or um, our other beaches, who should they contact? So it, it kind of depends on what their concern is. Sure, if it's, I, I should, <laughs> let me clarify. If it's like a natural resource concern, whether yes. it's an animal or, or they've, they've found a large amount of trash or it's um, you know something that's directly going to impact the, the resource that is the beach. Sure, please get in touch with our Department of Natural Resources. You can find our contact information on the website. Great. Awesome. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate your time. Yeah, nice to have with you. You too.